Whether they can actually get those wards down now with DC scouting them out, we'll have to see. Yeah. Oh, DC actually coming across. DC might want to try and fight. Uh, Luna yeah. Blessing with I, Earth Spirit Roll yeah. is strong. Let's go. And the cast bounce. Is it going to catch Matumba Man and Jerax? Can they get out of it? The oh. heal is not going to save Matumba Man and Jerax. He could be going down as well. Eh? They're closing it down. Orb of Venom slow. Uh, can they do it? He has, a roll. Roll. he has to hit the roll, yeah. but Jerax is no spirit player. Oh, no. <laughs> well, no whatever that he was. didn't go for the long roll. And Misery is not. Well, there we have it. But 2 0 for DC, so Liquid, they were looking to fight, but uh, as you said, Luna, yeah, they, they can just turn right around DC. It's pr pretty Look obvious that Misery had some hot key issues there. Yeah. He placed like three stones in the century. They're, they're going to be really relying on Jarex to hit his spell. Say Misery gets in, shuts down the Warlock before he gets the Bonds and the Golem out. Yeah. Uh, so then what do Liquid do against the Meeper? Yeah, they're, they're very, they rely a lot on the yeah. Warlock. Yeah, his positioning is going if, to, if or when they take team fights, has to be really, really immaculate. Yeah. Top lane, Liquid do move in, they'll take down Mu. Misery already kicking back. It looks like they don't have the detection of Kuroki. In fact, Saxo, low. incredibly low. Yeah, Kuro just turns around, takes another. So Liquid will find two on the top. DC a little bit lackluster there with their response. I was only two heroes as well. That was just Tesla and Dracul and two. Yeah, nice experience gain for them, killing the level almost level Beast six. Beastmaster's gone bottom for a, for a gank, it looks like. No, he's got yep. his level six out and resolution, indeed, with the TP reactions that DC sent stop. He's not got a lot of help from his friends down bottom, so Liquid take a kill there as well. So three kills now on the board for them. After a relatively slow start and already moving in for more, looking for Misery, but the Ravage comes out. Catches out two Misery. He's going to find a line onto Matuma Man. The silence onto Kuroki. Misery, that's what we want to see from an Earth Spirit, but still it's not quite enough because there's still time for Kuroki to get the grave off onto Matuma Man. TP's out, but there's oh, the arrow. Fada's turned up to the fight. Takes down Earth Spirit. They will lose the Dazzle. Let's see if they can find anything else here. Fada's got a haste run. He's going to play around with Mu a little bit. Jarek's trying to come in as well. well Managed to get a little bit of a slow out, but Mu. You can invade their jungle. If you don't get if you don't do that then you probably have to do the, the smoke to mid lane. Yeah. Try and uh, kill somebody there and take the tower because that's also a way of opening up the jungle. You're gonna try moving there. There's a rotation from the Beastmaster coming in as well but Kuroki's already taken down. They'll look towards Farda. The net. This one's gonna miss but here we have the cast. The oh, second net as well missing as well. Weeha! There we go. Third time's a charm. We'll finally land it but his meat boy's falling low and he's gone. Jarex comes he drops the golem and Matuba Man's turn up as well. Liquid take two. And they will turn this one into a tier one push on the mid lane. Ravage, not quite there in time. And, and DC, gotta be careful. The Golem. They do have the medallion on the Dazzle, so their next move, once they have their what, their ultimates up, is probably going to be going toward DC's safe oh, lane. Rezo's out on his own here. They need some help. There we have it. Maybe they could turn with the Eclipse, but look, Matuma Man just realizes take down the big girl on the pony, and they'll find the kill on Luna. Look towards Misery and another one, and DC. They're just making mistakes left, right, and center here in the mid lane. And Liquid, they're hitting back hard with this this kind of powerhouse of a force they're going to have with the Drow at 10 minutes into a game. You get punished. Him having like the same as the Tide is pretty... We're well, just going to try and go for a solo kill on Matumba Man. But Liquid, they do have backup coming around the corner. Jarex and Mind Control are there. Matumba Man just turns around with the Gust onto two, so the poof damage is not going to be there. But the Death Ward can't quite finish off Drow. And now they just turn and they'll kill the Meepo again. Liquid at this point finding everything that they need and they may even find something else as Saxa. He's all on his own now. Kuroki and Mind Control. They'll be held back for a bit by the Paralyzing Cast Bounces, but the three of them closing in onto the Witch Doctor. Uh, they're going to continue to chase <laughs> this one. We got you. The right click. Look at that Drower. I mean, Liquid oh. don't have catch outside of the Roar. But oh, the oh, creeps. The creeps. Hit the creeps. Yes. Hit the creeps. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> nice play. That was very nice by Jerex. Oh, and Resolution, that is not where you want to be. Uh -oh. Run. He uh, is for a little. They just five they man can't weave. stop this. Five man defensive. We and you initiate in from DC. There's a warlock rock wait, waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah. Jarex is going to be ready with his spells. In fact, unless misery can shut him down the side, the silence comes through. Eclipse timing as well. They're moving forward. But to my man, he's gone caught out. But takes down Witch Doctor. The golems now drop. Fatal bonds as well. But Moo comes in with a ravage. Have they got the damage to deal it? Wee's going to move in with the army, trying to go for mind control. He'll roar one of the Meepos. They've lost a second. They've lost misery on DC. But a graved up, turning onto the tide, and so they'll be able to take him down as well. And Liquid, they just lose the Aegis on Matumba Man, but they find three kills. They're going to move in, take this bottom rack, by the looks of it. DC. So this is a hard game for DC. A lot harder than game one as well. Yeah. And this is like an all in ish play. They, they've really got to kill the Warlock as well. 
at the start. And they will initiate with the stun, but immediately the gust. So Misery can't actually silence Jarek, oh, so he still gets the golem drop down. Here we go, Moo with the Ravage, they're trying to turn, Deathlord as well, pummeling into Mind Control, he's falling low, he's falling down, we'll get the roar off, the Golem's actually going to get taken down as well here, but DC, they've already lost the Meepo, Moo's going to get controlled as well, they'll find themselves another, no TP out for the Witch Doctor, Resolution left all on his own, he's going to fall as well, it's a team wipe as Liquid, they've just got all the answers for DC's draft and DC's game plan here. Five men weave from Kuro Five after he graves him, yeah. uh, graves himself. Last time it was on his team, this time it's on the enemy team, which is just as good. Yeah, it was if like not a better in some ways. Multi-hero Fatal Bond. They get the Gust on Misery before he even yeah. casts anything again in this situation too. And yeah, they just have to call it. Small mistakes. It, it all yeah. happened in less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, the first like six, seven minutes yeah. of this game, like there was, was just kind of a lead up to that one was like big turning point. The Luna Death bottom and then the Luna Death mid and the Meepo Death mid were like the three big ones that just pretty much gave Liquid all the up, uh, timing window that they needed to just get it.